But uh, yeah, Handbrake is an application for ripping your DVDs to your computer so that you can actually get uh, your video files on your computer. The reason that I use that is because I've got a computer up by my TV that's actually connected in through, uh, through the television set so that we can watch videos that are on that computer. And I've got like this, you know, I've, I've ripped all of my movies pretty much to that computer so that uh, essentially it started because my daughter started destroying our DVDs when they were on the shelf. So, oh, no. so needless to say, we, we decided, okay, let's, let's do things a little different. Let's yeah. install a computer. Let's get it set up. I installed yeah, Elisa yeah. Media Center and it was brilliant. And it looks like Ubuntu's booting. Wicked. Um, and so Handbrake is the application that I use to copy my DVDs onto the computer so that I can watch them uh, through that system. So you're going to find that at handbrake.fr. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. But the amazing thing is that the Linux version finally got a GUI. It used to be a command line interface. It makes things a lot easier. Um, so I'm going to bring it up on my system here. Uh, the GUI is available as a DEB package. Unfortunately, it's not in the repositories just yet. Um, but you know, as long as you keep on top of it, you're going to have the newest version. It's one of those applications that you absolutely can't live without. So might as well, right? So the GUI is pretty clever. It's uh, really, really simple. I mean, they've got the presets over here if you want to use them. You can change to high quality presets like film, and that's going to save as an MKV file. There's also OGM. Nice to see some open formatting. Um, and basically you just go through. It's so simple. You're going to be able to figure this out. When you insert your disk, what was kind of impressive about it is as soon as I inserted the disk, the app, the application actually got the title of the disk and, and automatically filled in most of the, most of the form. So, uh, I actually put click in there. So I, I got click the DVD, threw it in and it came up as it's going to save click dot MP4. Uh, oh, so that's okay. very cool. So from there, then we just go through our settings here. So we're going to use H.264 or MPEG-4 using either XVID or FFmpeg. I went with H.264. And you can go through each one of these, set your bit rate to something like uh, higher than 1,000 if you want good quality. Um, certainly it could be as high as like 2,500 to 3,000. Um, you can set all those settings and things like that. Choose your formats, your, con your container for the file itself. So essentially, if you're a new user and you're not really sure what a container is or what H.264 is, things like that, you can use the presets and th those are there for you. So right over here, just decide what you're doing, like high quality profiles here, film. If it's a movie and you want it to be full quality, film. But it is going to save it within an MKV container. So keep in mind that if your player doesn't support MKV, you might want to change the container to something like MP4 or AVI, but MP4 would probably be a good one. Um, and then just go through the settings and set things up the way that you want if you want subtitles or things like that. But essentially, using the presets, you're going to be able to do things uh, you know, right out of the box and not have to think about it. Um, and then selecting your source is all automatic as well because it just it throws it in as soon as you insert the disk. So that's really lovely. So I'll just give you a quick boo at um, that file. I'll just bring it up right on the computer here. So I just ripped like a few chapters. And it, it's a long process. It's a thorough process. I went with two pass encoding, and you know it, it does take quite a while to go. Let's see where my player is. <laughs> Here it is. There. So the feed makes it look a little choppy. It's not. So we're looking at essentially an exact duplicate of that DVD, uh, which I can use on my TV, which is really really nice. That's great. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Someone in the chat room was asking if you can use it against copy protected DVDs. That's bad, isn't it? Well, uh, what he means is, can you can you rip like this is my DVD, okay? Yeah. I know it says weekly rental, but that's because I buy. I, oh, <laughs> no. This is not a rental. I actually buy them like you know on the on the discount bin and stuff like that. Okay. So um, you, you, you don't use it for illegal stuff. But yeah, you can use you can use the the DVDs like I showed you there with click. It's copy protected. Yeah. Um, but it's. That said, like it's it's, we don't endorse using it for illegal things. Obviously, it's not about that. It's just can you rip those DVDs? So yeah, and yes, you can. Um, but you know, in all good conscience, we use that for for good and not evil. Right. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Like I don't know how many times I've lost DVDs or had oh, them yeah. scratched. Make backups. No, they're expensive. Like if you want a new release, they're mm. so expensive. So they are very. 